Hello everybody how are you all I hope you all are doing great welcome back to you in my youtube channel in the series of the lecture we will be completing the entire syllabus of class 6 science and crt here we have done the discussion of entire topics of food where does it come from in our part 1 video so in the second part of the video we are going to discuss MCQ questions which is very very important for the exams and other competitive exams too. So let's start our quiz session but if you haven't seen my previous video please go and watch and solve all the MCQ questions at your own. After watching the first part of the video you would be able to answer all the questions. So are you all excited to do the quiz? Yes here we go with the first question. Question number 1. Human beings are Option A. Herbivores Option B. Carnivores Option C. Omnivores Option D. Decomposers As you all know about the herbivores Herbivores is the plant eaters Carnivores are the flesh eater Omnivores can eat both Decomposer will feed on the dead and decay matter So option C. Omnivores is the correct answer Now we have question number 2 which part of a mustard plant is edible? Option A seeds and flower, option B leaves and flower, option C seeds and leaves, option D stem and roots. Come on quick answer I want, churn your brain, lick your mind and tell me the answer. Yes I got option C, seed and leaves is the correct answer. We can eat seeds and leaves of a mustard plant because they are edible. Now question number 3. Rearing and management of fishes in large scale is called. This is very very important questions. Okay, question um, is frequently asked in the competitive exams. So your options are option A agriculture, option B apiculture, option C pisciculture, option D horticulture. So agriculture is the practices of farming. Apiculture here in the apiculture we we are rearing the bee, honey bees. Okay. Horticulture is the culture where we grow vegetables and ornamental flowers. So, option C, PC culture is the correct answer. Okay. In PC culture, we rear and management of fishes in a large scale. Now, question number four Which of the following is a root vegetable? Option A potato, option B carrot, option C cucumber, option D onion. Yes, it is very simple answer I got from you all that is carrot. Carrot is a root vegetable. Now question number 5. Which one of the following sets is not correct? Option A cow, rabbit, deer, goat. Option B tiger, lion, wolf, panther. Option C bear, crow, cat. And option D rabbit, deer, cat and wolf. You all have to see all the options very carefully and tell me the correct answer. Yes, I got from you all answer and the answer is option D. Rabbit, deer, cat and wolf. Okay, now question number 6 we have. Which pair of plants has two or more edible parts? Option A, banana and pumpkin. Option B, pumpkin and ladyfinger. Option C, ladyfinger and brinzel. And option D, banana and brinzel. Okay, yes, I got from you all that is banana and pumpkin has two or more edible parts which we can eat. Now question number 7 we have materials required to prepare a food item are called what? Options are option A nutrients, option B ingredients, option C nourishment and option D minerals. We had a discussion about the food and their Ingredients. Okay, so option B that is a correct answer. We need ingredients to make a food to prepare a food items. Okay, now we have question number 8. Which one of the following is not an omnivore animal? Is not an omnivore animal? Read the question carefully. Okay, and options are option A tiger, option B human, option C dog and option D Cockroach, come on, churn your brain, lick your mind, tell me the quick answer. Yes, that is tiger because tiger is a carnivore. Now we have question number 9. Edible parts in lettuce and spinach is 
options are option stem option b roots option c leaf option d seeds yes i got very quick answer from you all that is leaf it is very simple question now we have question number 10 which one of the following is a carnivorous animal here you have to tell about the carnivore animal and the option a is option a is sparrow option b owl option c parrot option d cow and I got quick answer from you all that is owl. Owl is a carnivorous animal. Now we have question number 11. Honey bee makes honey from option A pollen, option B petals, option C nectar and option D sepals. Come on churn your brain and tell me the answer. Yes, option C is the correct answer. Honey bee makes honey from the nectar. Okay, nectar is a flower juice which is called the nectar. Now question number 12 we have honey bees are often seen sitting on flowers. So why do they do so? Why are they sitting on the flowers? Options are option A they like flowers, option B they lay eggs on flowers, option C they suck nectar from flower. Come on churn your brain. Lick your mind, tell me the answer. Yes, I got answer from you all. That is option C. They suck nectar from flower. That's why they seem sitting on flowers. Now question number 13. Animal which eat both plants and flesh of other animals are called. Option A, herbivores. Option B, carnivores. Option C, omnivores. And option D, sanguinivores. Okay. Animal which eat both, they can eat plant as well as the flesh. So as you all know that is the correct answer C. Option C is the correct answer that is omnivores. Now we have question number 14. Read each set of term and identify the odd set. You need to identify the odd set. And the options are option A cow, milk, butter, option B hen meat egg, option C goat milk meat and option D plant vegetable buttermilk. Come on, churn your brain, lick your mind, think wisely and tell me the answer. Yes, I got the answer from you all. That is option D, plant, vegetable and buttermilk. Because as you all know, cow will give us milk and from milk we can make butter. Hen will give us chicken, flesh, okay. And we, it also give us, hen will also give us egg. Goat will give us milk as well as the meat. Plant will give us vegetable. That we cannot make buttermilk from the vegetables. So that's why option D is a correct answer. Now we have next question that is question number 15. Fruits provide us. Options are vitamins. Option B minerals. Option C water. Option D all or all the three. Come on think it wisely okay. Because as you all know all the ingredients and all the nutritional quality of the food. Yes, I got the quick answer from you all. That is all the three because we got vitamin, mineral and water. All three from the fruits. Now we have question number 16. Food is essential for all the living organism because option A, it provides energy. Option B, it helps in growth and repair cells. Option C, it protects our body from various diseases. And option D, all of these. Chan your brain, lick your mind, tell me the answer. Yes, I got answer from you all that is D, all of these because fruit provide, food provides us energy, it helps in growth and repair cells, it protects our body from various diseases. So food is essential for all living organism to get energy, to repair the growth uh, cells and growth and to get away from the diseases. Now we have question number 17. Grasses, shrubs, trees are called producers because they make what? Option A, water. Option B, mineral. Option C, carbon dioxide. And option D, food. Okay? Churn your brain, lick your mind, tell me the answer. Option D, food. Grasses, shrubs, trees are called producer because they make food. That's why they are the producer. And we all are the consumer because we consume food. We cannot make food. We are depend for our food to the plants. Now we have question number 18. Which of the following foodstuffs are rich in sugar? 
option a honey option b egg option c ghee option d fish you can guess very quickly this answer yes option a honey is rich in sugar now we have question number 19 an example of complete food is dash option a milk option b carrot option c pulses and option d fish okay think it wisely churn your brain lick your mind tell me the answer yes milk is known as a complete food okay now we have question number 20 and last question from this session it grows into a new plant and it can be eaten raw options are option a sprout option b herbivores option c carnivores and option d omnivores yes you can guess the answer quickly yes this is sprouts sprouts grows into a new plant and it can be eaten raw okay rest all are the feeding habits so with this guys we are going to end up the session thank you for watching this video if you would like to practice the quiz please watch the previous video and comment your score out of 20 below in the comment box if you have any doubt regarding this chapter feel free to leave your comment if you want to see more videos on quiz put the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more updates of the future videos until we meeting take care of yourself stay healthy and stay safe thank you for watching